Okay, just looking at the chat here, watching people coming in with their answers. This is awesome. All right, we got a few more minutes. Let me try and do this one here. Um, again, before you get started, you know, you practice these runs a few times. Uh, you're getting yourself ready for the, uh, you know, you're getting yourself ready for the, um, uh, your run on the leaderboard. You want to ask yourself, starting plane, starting profile, what's your first sketch going to look like? I think for me, my first sketch is going to be on the front plane, and it's going to look something like this. I'm probably just going to, because it's a timed run, I'm probably just going to try to figure out how to include all that information in the first sketch. So that's kind of like the first area of this challenge that's going to be, you know, it's going to need to be completed is creating kind of the main revolve for the main flange. The next area that's going to be a challenge is going to be creating this hole and creating it in the correct location then creating a pattern of that hole then the next area that's going to be a challenge is going to be creating this tombstone shape and creating it in the correct location um, and then extruding it up to the up to the body and then the final area that's going to be a challenge is going to be creating this final counter bore so we got a counter sink and a counter bore in this one mixing it up a little bit compared to some previous challenges so here we go now that we've got a game plan now that we've practiced it a few times let's go begin the challenge really this would be down here at model three so we would do model one which we did a moment ago we would do model two which is the sheet metal model then we would get down here to model three and we would create model three down here um, and make sure that that clock is visible during your run uh, so that we know that there's no no funny business going on so we get down here to model three we're already 12 seconds in we're wasting too much time here let's keep going this is in ABS and it's in inches. So ABS inches and we're going to go front plane, begin a sketch, orient our view. We're going to um, have a center line here. So one trick that I do when I make a center line is if you, when you're creating lines in SolidWorks, if you click, 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 that makes a chain of lines. But if you click and drag, that makes one line. And then as soon as you're done clicking and dragging, you can move over here to where it says for construction. So you can kind of get used to doing that all in one move. And I'll show you what that looks like here in real time. Um, let's just give ourselves a real time on this one because I've been wasting a lot of time here. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. New part, ABS PC, ABS, IPS, IPS, ABS. Front plane, begin a sketch, orient the view, S key, come over here, sketch a line, bring this line over, bring this line up to 0 0.75 inches for the height of that region of the flange, bring it over a bit, bring it up at about a 50 degree angle, bring it all the way up here, bring it over, bring it down here at a distance of 0 0.375, bring it in for that counter bore, bring it all the way or down to about here. Here's another trick in SolidWorks. If you're not picking up parallel as a yellow relationship, hold your mouse over the line first pick up on this line like wake it up make sure that those are parallel and then uh we you know well then we come over here to you know we close off that contour we come over here to make this center line you can left mouse button and drag straight up let go of your mouse and then just move over here to the property manager and make that construction so that makes one single line instead of a chain of lines when you do that click and drag function all right probably spent a little too much time explaining that let's get in here and start making some dimensions the diameter dimension here is going to be a uh, diameter of five. Now that I've picked that center line once, I can just keep picking lines and keep adding dimensions and they're gonna automatically be diameter dimensions. So this makes it a little bit easier to go through and pick your uh, all your diameter dimensions at one time. And then we can do our final, you know, max height dimension here and our angle dimension here. What is that one, 55? And then our wall thickness dimension, 0 0.5, and our wall thickness dimension, 0 0.5 for that upper region. So two minutes to that first, you know, sketch. Maybe I could, you know, start over and practice again. Could I do it in 90 seconds? Could I do it in 70 seconds? Like keep, keep trying to challenge yourself to get quicker and quicker per feature, and you're going to get this overall time down. Pick that face, launch the whole wizard hole command, uh, switch to ANSI inch, make this a counter sink. Go down here to my custom settings. This is gonna be 0 0.25 as the through. It's gonna be 0 0.550 as the uh, counter sink. Counter sink, right? And it's gonna be 82 degrees for the counter sink. So you can use the tab key to kind of speed through that. And then you can drop your first uh, point here directly above the origin. You can jump into a circle command, give that circle a diameter of four inches for the bolt circle. And then you can take this point and this point, make them coincident. And this point and this point, make them vertical. And now you've created one of those whole wizard holes, and that means you can jump into your circular pattern. Say you want a pattern about this face. Say you want to pattern this hole, and you want it to be 
Six instances. That's what we want. Six instances. Now you can take the right plane, hold control, and drag. You could drag this over to one point five to get the location of that tombstone shape. And then you could begin a new sketch on that plane and create your tombstone shape. This is another workflow to get used to in SolidWorks. How to create a tombstone in one pass. Very useful to learn how to do that. We'll make this point vertical to the origin. We'll make this line collinear to this lower line here. And now we just need to add in our dimensions from the base to that tombstone is 1.75. And the radius of that tombstone is 0 0.625. And now we can do an extrude. Now for this extrude, you can go up to surface here. And remember in SolidWorks, you can double click a surface to go up to surface. And then you could right mouse button and finish that. And as long as that's not protruding into the inside, which it's not, you're golden. So now you can pick this face here, whole wizard, and that's gonna be a counter bore. And for this counter bore here, we're gonna use our custom sizing in inches with 0 0.5 tab, 0 0.910 tab, and 0 0.250 as the, uh, uh, counterboard depth and then we can go to positions here and we can drop this position on here now what we could do is we could go up to next for the depth of that hole that way it doesn't punch through the other side but then we wouldn't be able to use insert face delete and we love using delete face in these runs so we're going to delete face that side and that should do it look at our sensor our sensor shows us 0 0.625 pounds and that is correct and so four minutes and 40 seconds for that one as well and that is your live solve in uh, in SolidWorks, using SolidWorks to solve these models. One thing I wanted to mention was that I did have a user ask in the, um, in the uh, comments, if you go into evaluate mass properties and you, you're coming up with a mass here of 0 0.63, what's the problem, right? What's the problem with that? The problem is the precision of your mass properties is not dialed out far enough. And you can set that in your system options, but you can also just go up here and click options and then click use custom, and then just bump this out to three places. You say, okay, and now there you go. You're getting your 0 0.625. So, you know, what's the problem with that? The problem, like I said, it's in the system options where you can control what that value is, but you can also um, just change this from two to three.